The Duke of Sussex is currently enjoying family time following the arrival of his daughter Lilibet Diana Mountbatten in Windsor on June 4. The little girl was named in honour of both the Queen and Diana, Princess of Wales. In a statement that was shared on the Sussex's Archuil website, the couple thanked their supporters and also shed some light on the meaning behind their newborn's name. They said, It is with great joy that Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, welcome their daughter, Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor, to the world. Lily was born on Friday, June 4 at 11. 40 a.m. in the trusted care of the doctors and staff at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital in Santa Barbara, California. She weighed 7 pounds 11 ounces both mother and child are healthy and well and settling in at home. Lily is named after her great-grandmother, Her Majesty the Queen, whose family nickname is Lilibet. Her middle name, Diana, was chosen to honor her beloved late grandmother, the Princess of Wales. The royal family also responded by sharing their delight at the arrival of baby Lily. The relationship between the Sussexes and the firm has been rocky of late, due to Harry and Meghan's explosive claims surrounding racism and life as working royals. Harry accused his father and brother of being trapped in the royal system and that Charles had cut him off after a lengthy phone conversation. However, in January 2020 during a private dinner in London for his charity Santa Bale, Harry shocked the world and the firm when he announced that he and his wife were stepping down from royal duties. When giving his speech the Duke of Sussex said, I know that you've come to know me well enough over all these years to trust that the woman I chose as my wife upholds the same values as I do. And she does. For those reasons, it brings me great sadness that it has come to this. The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly, there really was no other option. I have accepted this, knowing that it doesn't change who I am or how committed I am. But I hope that helps you understand what it had to come to, that I would step my family back from all I have ever known, to take a step forward into what I hope can be a more peaceful life. I will continue to be the same man who holds his country dear and dedicates his life to supporting the causes, charities, and military communities that are so important to me. Harry was also summoned to a meeting with Prince Charles, Prince William, and Her Majesty. In the documentary, Meghan Markle, Royal Divide, Harry, Meghan and the Crown Royal commentator Romed Scobie said that Harry was nervous about the meeting because he was aware that he could potentially face an angry monarch Mr. Scobie said, so Harry if you like, was summoned to go and see the boss of the family. Harry was very nervous I heard before going in there. He hoped to go and see his 93-year-old grandmother, who had always had a soft spot for him, but there was a strong chance that behind that door there was also a very angry monarch. Royal author, Duncan Larcombe also detailed the impact that Harry's announcement would have had on the royal family. He added, for Prince Harry to make the decision to say, I'm stepping back. I don't want to be a royal that is an enormous slap in the face for the royal family as an institution itself. Perhaps the Queen was concerned that history would repeat itself as she had first-hand experience in witnessing her family and the head of state fall apart. Her father King George VI was unexpectedly crowned monarch in 1936 after the abdication of his brother King Edward VIII, who quit the firm to be with divorcee Wallace Simpson. King George died in 1952 and a year later the Queen had her coronation on June 2, 1953 and was crowned Queen.